Hey everybody, it's Barbara. And if you watched my fashion fairy tale, Poppy Parker review, um, you know that there were uh, two different styles of boxes. One was a traditional book-like box. And then you had these two boxes that were smaller in height and width. And I showed them from the back because in the front, you had these peekaboo windows that uh, told you what the dolls were. Uh, this is Eugenia, and this is one of the lovely ladies from the East 59th Street line. And I thought what I would do is I would obviously review these two separately, but I would start off by showing you both of them in the box. And then I would go ahead and uh, start the review once the dolls are out of the box since there isn't too much to show you getting them out of the box so let's go ahead and pause here and you should know by the title whether i'm going to start with eugenia or 59th street and here we have constance out of the box She's in a very interesting um, several shades of purple ensemble. Um, we'll get to the ensemble in a second because there's a really interesting piece to it that I've never seen them do before. But as always, uh, let's start by going head to toe. I'm going to move her in a little closer. Just the lights and there she is. Uh, Constance is probably the most pronounced lashes I've seen yet. She also looks, or at least this doll, um, she looks a little high. Um, I try to look at her a little bit differently. This isn't wonky eye. This is just a very sleepy, dreamy, why are you bothering me type of look. I, 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 I've got no other way to describe it, folks. Um, She's got a very, very light lavender at the top of the lid, a darker lavender uh, on the bottom lid. Her eyes are lined in the traditional 50 style black kitty line. And as I said, her lashes are quite pronounced and they are real. She's got a pouty reddish pink lip, which will match her nails and her toes, but we'll get to her shoes in a second. She's got very simple gold, gold hoops and a very nice pair of gold bangle bracelets. If I may, I'm just going to undo her arm for a second and put them toward the back so we can take a look at the patterning of the dress with the traditional 1950s neck. And there is like um, a flowery pattern throughout the dress which is a much more i would say navy purple if that's such a color um it looks bluish in the light but it's really it's that purple that goes toward blue and her waist is a definite purple let's put this down go to the back there we go push it back a little bit she has that very nice bold open back She's got um, this, I'm going to turn it, this and the dress will open with hook and eye, I believe. Yes. And I do believe, yes, this is not a separate piece. The, the waist piece is sewn into the dress, so it's all one piece. I'll watch as I cry when I can't get the hook and eye back. There we go. And if I may, just a quick look at the shoes. They're spiked heel, strapped with the platform, and the peep toe, which is really more in keeping with the current fashion royalty line than I think something you would have seen in the East 59th Street era. So perhaps Constance has time traveled a little bit, which would explain the far away gazed look. 
Now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna move this back as far as I can while I can still use my hands. I'm gonna move the camera back. There we go. Move her back a little bit more to the side. There we go. Now I'm gonna show you this piece. This is the piece that's supposed to go around her head. It's in a cummerbund style like her waist, but it actually fits very nicely right on the half ponytail of her head, which has a great deal of product in it. So I'm going to actually bring this in much closer so I don't kill myself. And I'm going to put this on. So as you see, it fits very nicely on the back like a, a back headband. It looks kind of nice, but here's where it gets interesting because you're, I guess the idea is you then wrap it around the front and then up. So if I hold it with my right hand, it's going to look like this, like a hood, but unless you've got a small pin, there's really no place to fasten it, and the pin does not come with it, so I may be putting this on wrong, but this is the general idea of the look. It's a nice look to go with the dress, but I'm not sure how you would keep the look. That's what I'm wondering about. Um, Constance represents I was very surprised Constance was in this line uh, because the East 59th Street line is still relatively new. Uh, just very quickly to rehash the history, Vitoire Wu, who was a brief entry into the FR universe, uh, she was a post-World War II model in France. Vitoire has aged a bit. She's now a consultant to a modeling agency located on East 59th Street. Constance is one of the it girls, so she probably gets some advice from Vitoire. Um, I suspect this East 59th Street agency is also eventually going to be the agency that discovers Poppy Parker, and or it may be the agency that evolves into the industry, which is uh, connected to Poppy Parker's granddaughter. So how Constance fits into all of this, who she is, I mean, looking at her right now and then having just very recently reviewed a Poppy. Oh, I probably shouldn't say anything that, that Constance is Poppy's aunt or her grand or Poppy's mom. No, she's not Poppy's mom, but she, but looking at her could be the, could be the aunt. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to get like a whole bunch of hate mail from David Boutry now for saying that. Anyway, um, I have one more review to go from the fairy tale, uh, fashion fairy tale, fairy tale romance line. Uh, it's going to be Ayumi, who was my lottery doll, which and she was the last one I received. So uh, fittingly, she'll be the last that I review. Uh, so for Constance, and for uh, the fashion fairy tale, this is Barbara, and I will see you guys in my final review. Take care. Bye-bye.